Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson, um, you know, still working with the Steinway Project and doing things. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do today, if I could, is prepare the dampers. Um, what I need to do is basically, and I'll show you. So, these are the dampers right here, and you see they're all dirty, they're all scuffed up, and they're, they look very, very old, and this side over here, it's not even finished that well. Um, so my main thing I want to do is I want to sand down each and every one of these dampers uh, to a smooth surface and make it the same exact finish as the piano which is actually a satin ebony so you can see right over here the piano is a satin ebony right here a lot of people's asking me how did I do that finish okay so I used the same finish that was already on there which was a gloss ebony um, and what I did is that I took um, wet sandpaper and I wet sandpapered it all down first. Then after that I took a heavier grade steel wool, not too, too heavy. Um, I can show you it right here. This is the heavier grade steel wool, which is grade two. And after that I took um, another grade steel wool, which is very fine, and the other steel wool is grade zero so after the first heavy st heavy steel wool then go to the grade zero and then i i just wipe wiped it down then after that i wet sanded it i wet sanded it with um with the sandpaper that is um i think it's grit 400 so i wet sanded it by hand not by not by machine you have to do everything by hand and of course it's gonna get a little messy because it's black and everything. Wipe it down with uh, cloths, which is in here, and then take the, uh, the Grit Zero sandpaper and smoothly just go over it back and forth. So just like um, Mr. Miyagi said, Daniel son, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. That's exactly what I had to do with both hands. So I got to work out with that. So that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do with these dampers, but the only thing about it is that it'll be a lot easier because it's small. Uh, what's not going to be easy is that there's so many of them. I have to take an X-Acto knife and take off all of these dampers. Now, you can see all these dampers are all in line. They're all dirty and everything. These are all the old dampers right over here. Right over here, these are all the new dampers. And I made this little contraption that if I pick it up with one hand, uh, the tape holds all the dampers in place. And I can move it from one area to the other area without messing up the formula. So, as you can see, the dampers up front, all of them right here, and they get smaller and smaller as they go along. The dampers on the bottom, these are all brand spanking new dampers. But these, this is what the formula is comparing to this. So this is, this is comparing to that, and the back right there, that's a formula comparing to that, what it looks like. Same thing here. Now the back here is a little different, it's just straight dampers. So it's just like that. And right over here, same thing. And right over here, same thing. So, um, that right there is, um, it's, it's work. On top of that, I have to take out the damper action, regulate the damper action to make sure everything is right. Um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, a lot of patience. Um, the thing about it is that I'm a perfectionist, so I like, I like to do, um, I like to do things that are actually uh, to my expectations. If it's not to my expectations, even myself, I get kind of frustrated and kind of mad that I did a really, really bad job, including cooking. Sometimes I cook and sometimes it didn't come out right. If I didn't, if it didn't come out right and sometimes, you know, <laughs> my friend Angel's cooking. So, so if it doesn't come all right, 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 right and Angel likes it, but I don't like it, he would say, oh, this is good and everything. I'll, after that, I'll take the whole thing and throw it away. <laughs> Because I didn't like it, you know, but um, not, I don't do that to anybody else's cooking, which is good. Okay, so um, that's what I have to do, and I just wanted to show you this little contraption right here. If you cannot buy one, just take two pieces of wood, long pieces of wood like this, um, and then take like planks right over here and two more long pieces of wood like that, and just make it like that. Um, you could use this to spray the dampers, but... When I spray the dampers, I'm going to do them one by one. 
I don't do them all at the same time. There's people that do them all at the same time. Take a spray and do that. Uh, that's not how you should do it. That's not how you should do it, especially to a Steinway. You should spray it one by one and very, very delicately. And I'll, I'll show you a video on that when I start spraying them. But yeah, line, all, this is your formula. This is your front formula and this is your back, your back formula right there. And that's it. And that's basically it. Looks pretty good. And it's time to go back to this mess right over here so I can clean it up. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.